Hello everyone. The name is Van Veluwe. Trix Van Veluwe. And I can't believe it took me this long to finally make that joke. <laughs> oh. Welcome to GoldenEye 007. We are at part 11. And we are at mission 7. Last time we actually took care of business in Cold Heart Russia. The train was the final level to actually take place there. But Alec Trevelyan, Janice, the enemy of this game, <laughs> the bad guy, he actually fled, took the GoldenEye key with him, and he took it to Cuba. Thanks to Natalia, we actually found out this is where he is hiding. And this is where he's going to try to finish his plan. Here, we need to destroy some drone guns. We need to eliminate Xenia, who we only saw briefly in the train. <laughs> Blow up an ammo dump and escort Natalia to the Janus base. That final one is the most important one because we are not qualified to actually program computers in order to stop the Golden Eye. Natalia has to do that. She needs to arrive there alive. Satellite reconnaissance has been unable to locate any installation near the coordinates recovered from the Janus computers in St. Petersburg. It seems likely that the ground search will be necessary. The CIA has provided you with a light aircraft. Underfly Genesis radar and parachute in to the drop. Proceed through the jungle, eliminating any opposition and attempt to locate the Janus base. M. Miss Semyonova will be with you on this mission. If Janus is operating a GoldenEye satellite, her computing skills will be essential when you try to disable their systems. Jack Waite has given her some basic firearms training and he thinks she'll be able to carry her weight in combat situation. <laughs> Go girl. <laughs> be careful though, 007. Remember she isn't an experienced operative like yourself. And Jack Waite is from the CIA by the way, in case you have not seen the movie. <laughs> He's a character from uh, the movie. You'll know when you're on the right trail if you encounter Janus troops or automated defenses. Be especially wary of their robotic drone guns. I'm giving you some triggered mines for their ammo dump. Try not to waste them on silly things. <laughs> oh, and look out for that Xenia woman, 007. I think she's after you, you lucky devil. <laughs> yeah, I think she's still mad at me for what I did to her in the train. <laughs> but it seems we did not kill her. She only got hurt. A monopenny? A hot date in the rainforest? With two women? Shame on you, James. <laughs> okay, monopenny. I'll make sure it's one woman quite quickly. <laughs> Xenia is going to be taken out. It's required for one of the missions. <laughs> so we know that is going to happen here in the Cuban jungle. No time for nature sightseeing. We need to find a base. And unlike the previous missions, Natalia here is finally going to be of help instead of just being in the way. <laughs> According to the movie, we actually crashed. So we're going to assume that that's also the case here. <laughs> So, we need to go on foot through the jungle, finding Janice. Let's go, Natalia. Here are the first men. Let's shoot you in the helmet. <laughs> Ooh, Natalia got the first kill. <laughs> it was not me. I like this game. <laughs> I do too, Natalia. That's the whole reason why I'm playing it. <laughs> um... This new weapon over here is actually the AR-33, which is an assault rifle. Very powerful. And also equipped with a scope, so very handy too. <laughs> Have to admit, I love this weapon. Bam! <laughs> it instantly kills everything it touches. <laughs> Ooh, if we look closely into the fog, we will see... Here's the first... Uh oh There's also some soldiers there. <laughs> Let's get rid of you guys first. They're stupid enough to actually come towards us. <laughs> no, thank you, Natalia. <laughs> Finally, you're not useless anymore. <laughs> okay, and now back to the story I was trying to talk about. If you look closely, you will actually see a drone gun in the distance. Take them out with your scope from far away, because if you're close enough, it will start shooting you. And you're probably going to get hurt quite bad. Especially here on Double O Agent. Um, oh yeah, indeed. Even on double agent, there's still body armor here. And it's even a full one, so hell yeah. <laughs> I can agree. 
It does say that uh, the stage is probably pretty difficult. Otherwise the game won't give you this at this point. Oh, some more guys here. Usually they spot you sooner than you them. But even then it does not really matter because they're usually stupid enough to actually come towards you. Instead of shooting you from a distance. Something they should be doing. Oh, and speaking of shooting at a distance. <laughs> was too close to the drone gun apparently. Luckily he didn't get hit. My body armor is still intact. <laughs> There's got to be more of them. Cannot have been the only one. Yeah. There you are. Get him, Natalia. You're shooting a tree. <laughs> uh oh. That guy was not shooting a tree. <laughs> okay, that's what Natalia did get. <laughs> Oh, there's more of them. <laughs> Natalia, you're missing him. <laughs> I thought you were going to help. <laughs> Let me punish you for that quickly. <laughs> okay, now for the real reason I shot her. It's to show off that she actually wears body armor. Just like us. And there's even another one here. Okay. <laughs> the game apparently does not have a lot of faith in us. <laughs> Apparently we're supposed to be close to dying right now. Because why else would the game give us two body armors, even on the highest difficulty? That cleans up nicely. Any more? Apparently not. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Get away. There should be another drone gun here, the third one. Should be able to spot it. Yeah, there you are. Right next to the tree hut. Still alive, Natalia? <laughs> I believe in other difficulties there's also a body armor here. But this one is missing on Double O Agent. It's the only one that's actually taken out in this difficulty. But luckily I don't need it. I'm still full health. Even on my body armor. Which is a good thing, because there's something epic coming up. This part of the stage is empty, and that is not for nothing. The moment you cross this bridge... This time, Mr. Bond, the pleasure will be all mine. The boss fight with Xenia begins. And you can imagine she's not very easy to take out. She wears a lot of body armor, has very heavy weapons, the most powerful weapon in the game, and a grenade launcher. <laughs> so, take her out quickly before she gets the chance to actually hurt you too much. So, we were still able to finally see her up close. <laughs> and what do you think of her, Natalia? <laughs> yeah, my words exactly. <laughs> Let's go show off what she was actually carrying. One of them is actually a new type of weapon. The most powerful weapon in the regular game, the RCP-90. And you can dual wield it with her grenade launcher. <laughs> Even if you pick them both up. So, allow me to be epic for a moment. <laughs> drone gun we can blow up. I'm pretty sure the grenade launcher actually has priority over the RCP-90, which you can therefore only use if you actually hold the Z button. Otherwise you're just going to shoot your grenade launcher. Which is not a bad thing. I also would like to use that. <laughs> I think there used to be soldiers there. <laughs> Poor guys. Now let's go test out this baby. The highest fire rate in the game. Oh, thank you, Natalia. <laughs> I'm trying to show off how cool this weapon is, and I... I already get outclassed by you. <laughs> Only downside to the RCP-90 is the fact that it does not have a scope, so... I'm going to have to keep things close combat. And another downside is the fact that the bullets for the RCP-90 are the smaller variant as you can see. And the AR-33 actually uses the bigger ones so you will not be able to get a refill on ammo on this baby so the moment it runs out it's going to stay out. <laughs> so let's make sure not to shoot too much with this thing. Split pathway. Oh. Uh, where did that come from? <laughs> oh Natalia apparently did spot them. Something blew up. 
What the hell are you guys doing back there? <laughs> Distracting me, that's for one. <laughs> I was trying to go up here. There's actually going to be a drone gun up here. Very tricky to get to. Because the moment you get to the top of this ladder, it's probably going to shoot at you immediately. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so we need to do this carefully. And most of all, slowly. Like this. Oh, and this must be the ammo dump the mission was talking about. Q bothered to give us some remote mines for that, so let's use them. Let's also try to blow up this drone gun. <laughs> Which should be the final one. Everybody ready? Shazam! <laughs> A and C completed at the same time. <laughs> awesome. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> Natalia! She's already busy trying to kill people. <laughs> yeah, that was everything. Just need to make sure we get to the base. There's two ways to actually get there. We can actually continue this way. And get to the end. However, there's still that other pathway I'd like to show off. So let's go here instead. A couple of guys behind some crates here. Come on. Oh, no grenades. Not allowed. <laughs> and Natalia still busy in the other room. <laughs> Here she comes again. <laughs> Ooh, awesome. <laughs> I'll try to make that the video thumbnail. <laughs> it looked awesome. <laughs> Let's continue. No matter which way you go, this is where you eventually end up. The final room of the stage. There should be a lot of people behind crates here. And these are infinitely spawning, if I remember correctly. So, definitely need to look out for these guys. I don't think just cleaning them up will actually get rid of them. They will immediately come back again. They also like throwing grenades. <laughs> I really love how this gun is actually piercing. It shoots right through the crates. <laughs> One of the few piercing weapons in this game. And the AR-33 is actually also one, so... Allow me. <laughs> I plenty of health, so I should be able to just blaze my way through here. Just gotta keep coming from the elevator, but... I should have enough health in order to outlive them. And there was the final one. The moment you have the elevator in sight, and they will no longer respawn. And this level is done. Oh, I've got uh, two grenades, so... Allow me to try to blow up Natalia in the upcoming cutscene. Pretty sure it's not going to be possible because of her body armor, but still. <laughs> this hurt her a little bit, so she actually loses her armor. Yeah, there we go. Now if I lay some grenades here, it should blow everything up and hopefully she will die in the meantime. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> no, she didn't die. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> but still, there was a little bit of fireworks at the ending cutscene. Also worth it. <laughs> awesome. That was the jungle, part one of mission seven here in Cuba. We don't have any target time here, and that is because the previous stage was double agent, and therefore this one is going to be agent again. If you have not noticed, it's been going in a circle. Pretty obvious, <laughs> so it's agent again. On secret agent, the missions are as follows. I'm going to show you off. Exactly the same, no difference. Also need to destroy the drone guns, kill Xenia, and blow up the ammo dump. On agent. There, we do find the difference. Um, oh yeah, the ammo dump's not in here. Almost lost it for a moment, but the ammo dump's not in here. <laughs> so, we do need to destroy the drone guns, remember that. Killing Xenia is kind of speaking for itself. Let's go unlock a cheat. If I remember correctly, it should not be too difficult on this one. Especially since the stage itself is already not that difficult. Since we're playing an agent. Making it easy. On Agent, you can pretty much on every single stage just run through everything, not having to care about health. 
I do like to have some good weapons at least. <laughs> Oh, awesome, I already uh, destroyed the drone gun. <laughs> Did not think that would work that quickly. Where were we? Oh yeah, running through the jungle. <laughs> this should be easy. Ow. Might as well get my health back. Like I said, I'm pretty confident in this stage that um, timer is not really that strict, so I can hit myself some errands here and there. Xenia is something we do need to be careful for. She has heavy weapons after all, so even on Agent they are able to hurt you pretty bad. Before she shows up, immediately destroy the drone gun. <laughs> There you go, good girl. <laughs> I'm not going to care to search for cover. <laughs> I've got way too much health. <laughs> go up here. No need to go in that other corridor. There's no drone guns there, so Let's immediately go up here. There we go. Final one. Now all we have to do is run towards the elevator amount of health I have from this difficulty. I'm not going to care about you guys shooting me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got stuck in the door. <laughs> no matter, that should still be good enough. If this was a difficult stage, I'm pretty sure I would have remembered. But I don't remember, so... <laughs> yeah, indeed. 3 minutes 45 was the target time. I knew there had to be a reason why I didn't write it down on my notes. <laughs> because it is indeed not noteworthy. What is noteworthy is what we unlock. Oh, right over here. It's a new type of weapon. Another cheat exclusive weapon that you don't find in the regular game. The hunting knife. Especially suiting in the jungle. <laughs> After the throwing knives, which we, which we did see in the bunker. The second bunker. A hunting knife is a different type of knife. Also pretty fun to play around with. However, we're not going to do that in the regular game. It is cheats exclusive. It does not show up in the regular game. But don't worry, I will bother to actually show it off. <laughs> Hopefully. It's not too important, but still. I will save a spot for it in the bonus content. And speaking of saving spots... We don't have a whole lot of time left. And this is actually by far the longest stage in the game. And therefore, I'm actually not going to play this. I have something else in mind. This is also an ideal stage to actually play around. And that I think I do have time for. <laughs> Let's go show off something wacky in this stage. Normally, Natalia is going to stay here, waiting for us. Because we need to secure the area. She's not able to do it. <laughs> Let's go. This first part we need to play seriously. So we can get a little preview of what's going to happen next episode. <laughs> oh, there's drone guns here. <laughs> Should have picked Agent for this. <laughs> because these things actually don't appear on Agent. They only appear on Secret Agent and Double O Agent. Agent, this part is actually a lot easier. There you are. There should be a third one up here. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> no. Well, you are lucky I'm not here to play seriously, sir. <laughs> Otherwise, this would have been a good reason to actually reset the stage. First room, and I'm already down all my health. <laughs> Okay, this is the point I wanted to reach. This door is locked. And this door is locked. Normally, the game wants you to actually bring out Natalia. So she can hack these doors. And yeah, indeed, that didn't go so well. <laughs> but I wasn't trying. 
Okay, now for the play around. She's going to try to use this computer to hack into Genesis controls, opening the door. But what if the computer is non-existent? <laughs> Very clever, James. Because how am I going to hack into the security computer now? <laughs> Sorry, Natalia. <laughs> I shouldn't have knocked her out of her armor already. Normally, if you actually destroy this computer, she gets angry at you and she returns to the elevator and stays there. <laughs> okay, that was something I quickly wanted to show off. There's actually a lot of these uh, kind of things in this stage. But for now, I only had time for this one. Perhaps I can use the cheats to actually show off some others later on. But anyway, next time we are going to play this stage seriously. This is a pretty long stage. And therefore, I didn't want to use the very little time this video had remaining to actually play this one seriously. For that, I want a clean sheet. Next time, the most important mission of this game is going to come up. Not per se the finale quite yet, but story-wise, it's the most important stage of all. Janice is going to try to fire the GoldenEye satellite, and we need to stop him. In a pretty difficult and yet epic way. See you folks next time for GoldenEye 007, live from Genesis Base, <laughs> here in Cuba. See you folks next time, and... Shrieks out.